Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Bomb has been diffused. Hey guys, this is Dev from Complexity. I'm gonna show you how to hold B site on overpass. Typically on a CT side overpass, um, on B site, your CT rotator will throw a smoke that lands into monster from spawn. So as the CTs get to monster, the tunnel will be smoked out and it's preventing the T's from wanting to rush that site. Um, after that, one guy can play barrels, one guy uh, play close monster by the wall, and his CT rotator can be watching short. Um, as he hears information from his A players, he can rotate off and let the B guys know, I haven't got you short anymore, you guys need to fall back to a different setup. So maybe barrel still or pit, or depending on where they want to play, uh, they can hold short and long at the same time. As one of the dedicated uh, B players, uh, it's your job. If, if the rotate is not doing the smoke for you or anyone's doing the smoke for you, uh, you can come and immediately molly your monster. Uh, this prevents the rush, it stops the T's getting out fast, and it means that you can get in positions you want to. Uh, Molly in this tunnel is super powerful, uh, you should always use it. Uh, but after this, you can get up set up in a, in, a, in a spot that you want to. So after the Molly's uh, gone out, you can re-smoke the tunnel, and then you can play, you can choose where you want to go with your teammate. It's always good, B is all about your teammates being in set up positions. So if you, you're focusing on one spot and if they come out, you've got crossfires. So for example, barrels is a really good spot unless it gets mollied. So if you have like a guy barrels and a guy here, or even behind uh, this big pole here, you can, you can be this guy, you take the contact, you're peeking out, and then this guy swings on him. Some, some, you can do some really interesting plays, like even, even this barrel guy falls off, he does a flash for the close guy to peek. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do. So as the second guy on the B site, uh, again, you can, you can do a lot of things to uh, prevent T's gaining ground on you. A good one, for example, is, uh, is taking water control. Uh, a lot of teams do this right now, so they'll throw a molly like this, for example, or they'll come into this corner and they'll throw a Molotov right here. And it means as soon as this happened, a flash comes over and one of your teammates is swinging. This has been mollied out, the tunnel has been mollied out as well, and you can take fights in short. This is, uh, is really strong when your CT rotate is there to throw the nades for you, so two of you can swing. But it also means when there's two, uh, say the CT rotate has gone back to A, it means that the two B guys are spread very thin. So they have to take something or they have to play really passive. A passive uh, setup could be something like the boost on here that allows you to see over the head angle. But I've noticed now a lot of players are watching for this. So in my opinion, it's not as strong as it used to be, but it's still a strong setup if, you, if you're two at B. Another example is really deep here and you're playing almost kind of retakey style. You're playing for information, you can use your nades to stop them rushing. Uh, but another good 2B setup is just playing around pit. You can have a guy watching short, listening for the long stuff. And you also can have a guy, maybe even like top side here, spotting the long. So he can get involved in the short fight. This guy can get involved in here and this guy, the second player can swing on the B if they come out the um, So as the B rotator on overpass, you have a very uh, versatile role um, and you get to do, you have a lot of freedom in where you want to go. So for example, you can, you can do this smoke for your, for your B players. So you line it up with this corner, you just walk and then throw as soon as you pass the line. And where the smoke goes, it goes into the long tunnel so it prevents the rush. When T see this smoke, they think, I don't want to go through here, can we cancel? And then they might, it might, one smoke might actually cancel a rush, which is uh, kind of crazy. After this, um, you head your way back to heaven and then you can throw pot flashes like this, for example, maybe one or two. And it means the other guys at B can be close monster as this happening and then you can pee. If you, if you feel the rush is still going, that's, that, that could be your job. You don't always have to smoke long tunnel if you don't want to. You can get one of the B guys to actually molly it out and then you can still do these flashes. So if you see flashes and molotovs raining over or maybe smokes, you can still do these flashes. Uh, but your role as a CT rotate is a few things. Like if, you, if the team are gearing up towards a B um, and, it's, and they've already had success with a B take, it means you can stay around B much longer than you like to. But uh, the rotate job normally is to find information on short so the other two B guys can do a setup. For example, this jump spot is very good for the rotate players to do. 
it just allows the B guys to not be scared about short. So they don't have to worry about short and this guy can gain all the information of uh, the water area. Uh, if you want to, you can do a few things. As soon as they execute, you can stay around here and pot flash for the, the guys that are doing setups at long. Um, you're just a support player, really. You're just helping out. You're playing for information here. You're doing the flashes and you're taking the fights when they actually execute the site.